Greetings. This will be the ninth video in a series regarding the direct corresponding relationship between earthquakes, the solar eclipse, as well as volcanic eruptions. This video will be focused on Hawaii, and this will be a short video, and this is due to a very interesting ionospheric anomaly that has been picked up over the last three days. A very strong TEC anomaly has been caught on March 11 using the GDGDPS data. It indicates a potential that the island of Hawaii could become very active in 2024. This may also imply a strong earthquake event or significant signs of volcanic unrest around the July time frame of 2024. This same TEC anomaly has also picked up recent disturbances in the years of 2013, 2014 and 2018 which also was a precursor to these events, specifically volcanic eruptive events in the years of 2013 and 14, as well as the very strong 6.9 magnitude earthquake that struck in 2018. A very powerful 6.9 earthquake struck the island of Hawaii on May 4, 2018. This was a significant event with multiple aftershocks. It is worth noting that this earthquake event was preceded by about two and a half months with the same TEC anomaly. It's also worth noting that in that same month, in 2018, just two weeks after, two very strong and powerful planetary alignments were taking place, Jupiter, Earth and Sun, and Venus, Mars, Saturn were in alignment. These are the very same planetary alignments that have coincided with strong earthquakes and also volcanic eruptive events in the Hawaiian region. Jupiter Earth Sun will be in planetary alignment on May 19, 2024, a geocentric alignment, and that will be followed the following month, where we have a heliocentric alignment between Venus, Mars and Saturn. This will be the key trigger for this potential event around the Kilauea volcano and the island of Hawaii around June 2024. On February 22, 2024, a major X 6.4 solar flare took place, known its exact overhead location at the time of this eruption, right over the Pacific, specifically over Hawaii and also New Zealand. The TEC anomaly followed shortly thereafter, just like it did in 2018. So we must keep a close eye on the Hawaiian region in the coming months, as it may foreshadow an event to come. In the month of June 2014, an outbreak of lava at Kilauea Volcano sent flows towards communities in the Puna district on the east side of the island of Hawaii. Kilauea's outbreak was noteworthy for its potential and uncertain impact and the months of anticipation by communities at risk. Note the planetary alignments were taking place the following month. Jupiter Earth Sun and also Saturn Mars Venus were in effect. More volcanic activity was the focus in 2013 for Mount Kilauea. Note that both planetary alignments were occurring within two weeks of each other the following month. In 2006, both planetary alignments had five days of separation on May 5 and May 10 of that year. It must be noted that on May 10, 2006, a magnitude 6.7 earthquake in Kiholo Bay took place in Hawaii. This was a powerful earthquake comparable to the event that occurred in 2018. Note the proximity of the planetary alignments and the earthquake event, and also the resulting Kilauea had an eruption later on that year in the month of September. The Moana Ulu eruption of 1969 on May 24 was a powerful event. It was also preceded just two weeks prior by a significant series of planetary alignments. And it must be noted that we also had a preceding total solar eclipse that was featured over this region, which foreshadowed this event to come. We're now looking at the 1969 total solar eclipse and its termination point or its end point of the eclipse. Note that it's ending just short of the Hawaiian Islands, but if we continue that motion on, it does move just south of the Hawaiian chain of volcanoes. The main reason for this video upload is due to the significant ionospheric anomaly focus of the Hawaiian region, as well as the planetary alignment information and symmetry focus in the month of June 2024. But we also have several eclipse nodes that may indicate much more significant activity to come. This event in 2024, in June, that is forecast, also has a direct correlation and tie-in to the 2023 total solar eclipse. We're now going to look at the total solar eclipse of April 2023 and closely looking at the termination point or the ending of the solar eclipse. Note that it's occurring just south of the Hawaii region but note that the termination points or the shades of darkness that are splitting right across the Hawaiian Islands and it is very interesting and fairly symmetric to what occurred in 1969. There are two solar eclipses of 2024. Both of them will have a little bit of an influence for Hawaii. Note that we are looking at the entry point this time of the solar eclipse of April. This total solar eclipse will begin in the Pacific 
and then stretching just south of Hawaii, then moving across America. This is an interesting solar eclipse. We're now looking at the upcoming annual solar eclipse of October 2024 and its significance for Hawaii. Now this is potentially the strongest Hawaiian solar eclipse that I've seen for the last 50 years. And that would imply that it could be a major event coming for Hawaii for the years of 2025 through 2027. So not only should we get something in the month of June 2024, but there should be something much more significant in the years following. So definitely a time frame to watch and monitor for those people who are living in and around the region. This is mainly due to the culmination of several solar eclipse focus over the region. The green flash is a meteorological phenomenon that occurs briefly at the termination of light at sunrise or sunset. The colour green is most sensitive to the human eye, especially in low light conditions. So when it's close to sunrise or sunset, the green light passes through the atmosphere more readily. But what is actually taking place at the first and last rays of light that connects and disconnects us from the sun itself seems to reveal far more mysteries out of the sun-earth system than meets the eye. Usually this phenomenon is most visible over the open water and under certain favourable atmospheric conditions. But what is really taking place at this brief moment? It appears to be some sort of pulse or flash remnant of the loss of connection between Earth and the Sun. And this temporary cutoff or loss of signal is cutting off our access to time. And that concludes the ninth video in the series regarding the direct corresponding relationship between major earthquakes, volcanic eruptions and the solar eclipse. For more information, please visit solarwatcher.net and quakewatcher.com where there will be more information for members and subscribers as well as website newsletters. I will be uploading more content as time becomes available in the coming weeks, so keep close note of that. Thanks for watching.